I'm Mr. Jack and I'm back. Today, I have a little demo for you. So this is something you could try at home if you like, um, but all I have is a tub of water um, and this can, you can actually use a sink or something. You just have to make sure it, um, it is filled en with enough water to be able to do the uh, demonstration. So I have a couple of items here with me today and all I wanna know, you're gonna help me with this, is will it sink or will it float? So here we go. We are going to start today with a golf ball and a ping pong ball. So um, they are about the same size, right? So size in science, we compare it to the uh, volume. So about how much space is it taking up? That's what volume is. So you should know if you've ever held a golf ball and a ping pong ball, a golf ball is a little bit heavier than a ping pong ball. So we call that the mass. So we use mass instead of weight in science, even though it's pretty similar, just weight changes based on gravity. Mass will stay the same no matter what. So in science, we use mass to, uh, to tell basically the weight of something, and we use volume to tell about how much space something is taking up. All right, so we have the same volume, but different masses. So will it sink or will it float? Which one will sink, which one will float? Or will they both sink, both float? What do you think? All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's see. Three, two, one. Okay, so you can tell by the coloring, the ping pong ball floated and the golf ball sank. You might have guessed that. I did the easy one first. Okay, next, I have two pieces of foil. All right, basically, if you can tell from there, they're the same size. I tore it from the same roll. Yep, same size. Okay, what is that, we, we talk about the size, what is that again? The same size is like the same volume, exactly. So we have about the same volume. Um, you could also say the same, what? Same mass, they should weigh about the same, or have the same mass. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, one of them, I'm going to fold. So if you're doing this with me, you're just gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna fold it again in half. Yeah, y'all yeah, can see me there. See, I'm trying to get it as straight as possible. I'm gonna fold it again in half. And again, until I get to uh, about a, a small square. Let's see, and again, all right, I'm gonna keep going. What I'm gonna do with the other one, I'm gonna crumple the other one up. So I'll show you all that in just a sec. You can tell it's still right here. All right. So you know I started with the same, the same piece or same size foil, same mass. Here's the other one, I have this one. There we go, it's, it's pretty folded up there. This one. All right. So there we have that. So I have this same, we started with the same size, same mass. So now we did change something. What do we change? I didn't add anything to it or take anything away. So what's the same? Our mass is still exactly the same, right? What's different now? The size or the shape, which we call the volume. So now we have the same mass and different volume. Let's see what's gonna happen. Will it sink or will it float? What do you think? Which one do you think is gonna sink or float? Or will they both float or will they both sink? Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. What happened? So you see 
the ball. I, I did push it. Some people might say maybe I didn't squeeze it tight enough. I did squeeze it. And there you go. You can see I, I squeezed it a little bit more. It still floats. And then the folded piece actually sank. So that was a different example. I have one more for you. Are you ready? Yes, I have a regular Coke and a Diet Coke. Will it sink or will it flow? So as you can tell, they pretty much feel like the same mass. Um, I don't have a scale to measure, but you probably have held a Coke and a Diet Coke before. Um, and then what, what about the volume? Yeah, you can see they're pretty much the same volume. So will it sink or will it float? What do you think? All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. All right, so as you can tell, the Coke sank and the Diet Coke floated. So if you are doing this, just remember you do have to have enough water. They do stand up straight. So you have to have enough water to be able to see that difference. So what, what happened? What do you, why do you think that is? Right, so the volume is the same. The mass, again, we didn't measure it. The mass must be different. So what, what's the difference between a Coke and a Diet Coke? Right, so Coke is made of real sugar and Diet Coke has a sugar substitute. So if you looked at the labels, the nutrition labels, you would be able to see that as well. I'll pull it up or read it to you. So Coke says sugars are 39 grams, which is a mass measurement. And Diet Coke total sugars is zero grams. So it's a sugar substitute, so it doesn't add as much to the mass. So that is probably what accounts for the difference in the will it sink or will it float. So what we determine in science if something will sink or float is going to be based on density. Say it with me, density. You may have heard that before, but basically density is related to the mass and the volume of an object. So the formula is actually density equals mass divided by volume. So that is what's happening here. We can have the ping pong ball and the golf ball have about the same uh, volume, but different masses. Density is basically how much stuff, how much mass is in a given space, how much stuff is in a given space, how much mass is in a given volume. So that is what's happening with each of these uh, objects. That is density. So now we learn that density determines whether something will sink or float. Thanks for watching, guys, for, with me today. I'll see you next time.